I want to tell you a little story uh, about one of our presenters from yesterday. So does everyone remember VRESH from Alaska Airlines? Yeah. <clears throat> A lot of you talked to me about that, uh, that specific keynote last night. I tell you, Virash, I don't know if he's here in the audience or not, but I'm just going to tell a story about him anyhow. Um, it's cool because we're not live streaming this or anything. He'll never know. Um, so uh, we're backstage right before he's about to go on, and he came over to me and he said, so Nathan, DevOps, what, what does it mean? What do people talk about when they say DevOps? What is the meaning of this? And then he paused for a minute and he said, oh, no, no, I have it. It means ERP. <laughs> DevOps is ERP. I said, yes, Viresh, that's exactly right. Now go give a great talk. So, <laughs> so that guy is, uh, the, the, the attitude, the personality he showed you on stage, it's the same backstage. I actually, I said that I would come work for him, but I don't think I could ever work with someone who's so sarcastic. I would not know. Like, I, the one-on-ones could be really awkward. <laughs> Uh, when we went to our breakouts yesterday, there were some amazing breakouts. In fact, we had standing room only for a bunch of the breakouts, and I have some good news on uh, at least three of those breakouts that I'll share with you in a minute. I counted up, I think I gave 827 hugs yesterday. Yeah. Which means there are still some of you left. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> so if you haven't gotten yours yet, please come find me. Um, did you have a great meal last night? Yeah? Who had barbecue? Yes. Yeah? Okay, so Kansas City, Carolina, Texas. What's the right barbecue? Shout it out. Yeah, I agree. <laughs> yeah, it's all of them. They're all delicious barbecues. And they all have their own little special thing. Uh, we did this thing this year called Dinner with Strangers. Uh, some of you participated in that. Um, and what we did was we made reservations at a bunch of restaurants around town and let you just go and meet up with some folks here from ChefConf. I myself went to eight dinners with strangers last night. So that was pretty amazing. Uh, some cool uh, social media stuff that you might have noticed. Um, if you're on Snapchat, uh, we have some special chef comp filters for Snapchat. And if you're not, like, you should get on Snapchat and start throwing on this chef comp filters. And if you're like me, what, uh, hopefully you have a child that you can say, hey, son, how do you use Snapchat? <laughs> Uh, there's been amazing tweets, of course, with the hashtag ChefConf, with the hashtag ChefFriends. Um, and I also have to say that this JW Marriott and the staff here has been absolutely incredible. <laughs> the, the service has truly been over the top. Um, I asked them yesterday uh, if they would drain the pool. Have you seen the pool? Did you see it? So the pool, when you come to the JW Marriott, has in a tile on the bottom of the pool the outline of Texas, uh, which is awesome, but this is awesomer. Yeah. <laughs> What do you think? So, when you go up to the pool today, make sure you get yourself a picture in the pool with the Chef logo, because how awesome is that? Yeah. That's how we roll, Chef community. What's up? Derek, how are you this morning? Doing awesome. Yeah. So, I would love to uh, remind you, this is Derek, uh, Derek Mazzoni. Hey, y'all. It's great to be here. <clears throat> I said, Derek no, I'm and his, not from Texas. Yeah, Derek and his team, well, first, of course, by providing this amazing music, but Derek and his team have been on site in Austin basically for the past year, finding us all of the best local talent, finding us all of the best local restaurants and great things for us to do here. So one of the things that you probably saw is you got your t-shirt designed. We had four local artists that we put together, great designs for us. Uh, and Derek, you want to talk a little bit about any of these artists for me? Each one are uh, locally based, part of the graphic, uh, the graphic scene in Austin. Uh, they do phenomenal work all over the place. We gave them some limited direction about chef, the culture, and knowing who you guys are and knowing Nathan specifically, this is the design that they came up with. What do you think They're of those? Awesome. I think uh, I've done a lot of these. These are the best shirts I've ever seen. Yeah. These are amazing shirts. So Derek, we were looking at it, um, and we not only did we do these t-shirts, but we also did posters. So did everybody get a poster? 
Yeah? Awesome. All right. I think th that we may have some left. And if we don't, then sorry. Yeah. But, uh, but we were doing some, some math and some stats, right? We don't have the charts, but there were, it, there was interesting. Which was the most popular t-shirt, Derek? So far, it's the one I'm wearing. The one you're wearing. So far. Um, yeah. but if, like, and if you back... can't see Derek, it's this one here by J.J. Campbell. That's the most popular t-shirt so far. That's yeah. really popular with Texans, too. It's yeah, like very popular, popular with Texans. How about the poster? Which one was, which um, one was the most I popular? I think it was the, the skull with the, um, yeah. with the lightning bolts. Yeah, Carlos Hernandez. So we had this theory that uh, we all love skulls, but we don't want to put human skulls on ourselves. We want to put them on our walls, but mm -hmm. the, the exactly. yes, yeah, I think that's right, true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, uh, pretty awesome. If you haven't gotten your shirt yet, definitely go check those out. Um, the line feels long, but it takes about five or six minutes to move through yeah. that line. Yeah, the fine southern gentlemen are in, are really awesome, uh, and it's pretty cool that they're on site here. Yeah, cool. Awesome. Thank you again, Derek, for helping with all this Thank amazing you. Austin stuff. Yeah, this is it's a great, stuff. great conference. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> All right, I want to remind you again to keep your mobile app uh, installed and keep it nearby because uh, one of the things that you might have noticed yesterday, all three Habitat talks were completely full uh, and maybe you couldn't even get into the room. I was talking to Joshua Timberman. He's like, yeah, I think my talk went really well. Uh, it was a full room and no one left. And I said, Joshua, that's because no one could get out, right? <laughs> it's like, yeah, true, true. So, uh, but we, like, we hear you. We know you want to hear more about Habitat. Um, and so we've convinced the speakers to do a reprise of each one of their talks. So we're going to do all three Habitat talks again, the 101 talk at 1 o'clock, 201 at 2 o'clock, and 301. Guess what time that's going to be at. Any guesses? Yes, right, 4 o'clock, because there is no 3 here, right? No, it will be at 3 o'clock. It's going to be in Salon 1, which is just over here. It's a larger room. So if you didn't catch the Habitat talks yesterday, be sure to check those out. Of course, the Habitat area will be going on as well. I'd also like to just uh, give a huge shout out to our sponsors that really helped come together, make that event hall downstairs really a fun place for us to go, and of course to, for their sponsorship to make sure that this event happens. So can we just give a quick round of applause to our sponsors? All right, so let's walk through today's schedule. We start off this morning with Adam Jacob, who's going to give us a great keynote, of course. I know you're all very excited to hear Adam. Uh, following that, we'll take a short break, and then we'll come back and we'll hear from Liberty Mutual, one of our customers. And then we're actually going to hear from some of our key partners. We'll have them come up and talk about the awesome things that they're doing with Chef and with their communities. Speaking of communities, at the end of this afternoon, at 4.30, we're going to go back down into Griffin Hall, and we're going to have our awesome community chef awards. So each year we ask you, the community, to nominate folks within the community that you think are awesome that have really helped you out. So you want to be there to find out who's won the Awesome Chef Awards this year. And then this evening we have our community celebration over at the Empire Control Room. Derek, who's playing there? Tonight we got uh, Purple, who are amazing. Otis the Destroyer, a special guest that was just, um, just came up, which is going to blow your minds. I'll be DJing and uh, Chicken George also. But the whole experience, it needs to be fully, fully taken in because it is true Austin. That place is amazing. Yeah, so it's music. What else do we have going on over there? Oh, we got food by Salt and Time. Um, and we've got um, bespoke uh, uh, popsicles by Cold Ones. It's a great yeah. time. And some games too, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Duh. Yeah. Um, we have, we've taken um, gamers to a whole other level. We have a special room. We've got a, a 360 video display. We've got special furniture. It's beyond anything that I've seen. So get ready for that. That's going to be Yeah, okay. it's going to be really amazing. And then tomorrow, we have a hack day that's going on. So if you're still in town tomorrow, we'd love to have you join us for the hack day. That's going to be from 10 to 3. Again, check your mobile app in your pocket or in your hand right now. I hope you're looking at me, not at your mobile app, because better. Um, so that's tomorrow afternoon from 10 to 3. Uh, and now, without any further ado, I would like to welcome the CTO of Chef and my good friend, Adam Jacob, to the stage. <laughs> 